kind of a sad way to close the Broadmoor World Arena tonight. A shocking way uh, Michigan Tech wins. Hmm. Colorado College is done for the year. They Tough do not fight. make the final five. Hmm. We do have highlights. Yeah. Let's get right to it. Tonight's hot ticket said Broadmoor on the front. CC Tigers hosting Michigan Tech in the deciding game three of the first round of the WCHA playoffs. The final sporting event ever to be held at the storied World Arena. Now the Huskies got on the board early. First period didn't look that hard either. Brent Peterson unassisted beats Justin Lambert. 1-0 at 235. Don Lucia not pleased, but his Tigers came back before the break. Jody Jaroszewski to Jay McNeil burns Jamie Ram. 1-1 after 2, then 2-2. It went to overtime. Tech prevailing on a slap shot out of the scrum by Peterson. And there is your season, hockey fans. Standing by live at this very hour is our own Diane Kent. Uh, I mean, I don't know what to say that, you know, what a way to usher out the Broadmoor, Diane. You know, it really is. And as you said, it was standing room crowd and the fans were hoping to see the CC Tigers win at this final night at the Broadmoor World Arena. Unfortunately, that did not happen. As you mentioned, the Huskies did win in sudden death overtime. It took about five minutes for them to score a goal and win three to two. But the crowd was very enthusiastic, gave the Tigers a standing ovation. And it's kind of dying down just a little bit. And there's kind of a starting to be a somber mood. As you mentioned, this is the final night for the World Arena. It's going to be torn down and made into an addition for the hotel. Now with me, just joining me, Jed, just so you know, is J.D. Caldwell. He is the announcer for the, um, the Colorado College Tigers and has been so for 10 years. How do you feel about tonight, the final night at the World Arena? Well, I feel great for the CC Tigers for their season. Completely unexpected to be champions in the WCHA, but they did a fantastic job this year. I feel bad for them tonight, and I feel terrible about the Broadmoor World Arena disappearing after tonight's game. It's gonna be very difficult for the building to be taken down for those of us that have been around for a lot of years. Uh, but anyway, it's been a great CC season. I wish the Tigers nothing but wonderful success in the years to come wherever they play. I hope the city will get behind some new arenas for the Colorado College Tigers to call home. They've called this home for 53 or 4 years now and they have done us proud and we hope we've done some good for them. So do you have a lot of memories of this place? Or? I skated my first game here in 1945 so it's it's been a few years. So. Been, a, been a part of your life for almost 50 years. Okay, great. Again, that is J.D. Caldwell, who is the announcer for the Colorado College Tigers. Must mention again, this is the final night for the World Arena. It's a big place, a nationally world-renowned skating arena, both for figure skating and for hockey. And as you mentioned, unfortunately, ending on kind of a down note with the CC Tigers uh, losing and the World Arena coming down very soon. Back to you, Jed. Thanks so much, Diane. I hope wherever the Tigers go, that J.D. Caldwell goes with him because he's been a fine announcer. Too. Tigers won national titles in 1950 and 1958 in the Broadmoor World Arena, which is no more. I mean, it's still standing, but not for much longer. Again, 3-2 Michigan Tech in overtime. Your uh, first round WCHA playoff final tonight. So uh, that's the way it goes. Let's move on to college basketball.